My name is Phil Hagen. I'm the course lead for Forensic 572, which is Advanced Network Forensics and Analysis. Uh, very glad to be teaching this course. I originally started doing information security work in the Air Force where uh, we were doing practitioner level operations on large networks, high, high importance, high criticality networks, and uh, had a chance to, to really cut my teeth in that arena and see how security matters in the, the broader picture. After I got out of the Air Force, uh, went to work in the defense contracting industry and had a chance to there uh, really see this kind of work applied in a variety of different uh, capacities to include uh, what is now considered information operations, as well as from a, a forensic point of view. In, in network forensics, one of the things that we've always uh, worked with is this concept of scoping. Um, and traditionally, that has come because you knew there was an incident that already occurred. There was already a breach, there was already an attacker in your network. You had some indication that you had to start eradicating them, remediating them out of the environment. You have to assume at all times that the attacker is in your network. If you think you're not breached, you're just not looking hard enough. We spend at least half of our time in the course in labs. And the reason for that is slides are, are great at hitting a lot of the basics, but until you have a chance to, to actually get on keyboard and use those skills, you're not going to necessarily reinforce it in the same way. Uh, so a lot of our material is built that way and regardless of, of whether it's slide material or the labs that we have in class, they're all based on the real world experience. Uh, you know, we have taken casework and taken the concepts we've derived out of casework and put them into the scenarios that build up in, into the labs. For all of our material that we've created, both the slide material as well as the labs, uh, they're based out of real world experiences. We've taken lessons learned and, and examples out of casework and taken those concepts, built them into a lab environment so students aren't looking at something that's completely contrived and, and false because that's just not genuine. Uh, we're actually giving them real world experience even though it's in a lab type environment. And I think that makes a huge difference in the quality of training that we're providing.